tell me about APB. So what is it exactly? Well, APB is, a, is, an, uh, is an online uh, bookings platform and okay. we facilitate companies to, uh, to, to, to get bookings automatically via the app, uh, via the okay. web widget and uh, manually also by phone and give all these confirmation. What, what, what distinguishes us is that we have actually more or less all, we provide all the resources. So you can, as a company, you can give the resources like for a, a person to be booked, an object to be booked, a group session to be booked or an event to be booked. And uh, uh, beside the whole booking and the confirmation emails and, and, and whatnot, uh, we also have a loyalty program in, in the platform, a customer satisfaction module, and we have a marketing module. So you can give push messages to your clients and uh, uh, vid you can push uh, videos, of course, with their consent and with specific promotions. Yeah, so, so very briefly, that's what what that could be is yeah okay so that sounds interesting so uh, your customers are mainly uh, businesses and those who deal with uh, um, b2c market like uh, the food industry or the travel industry like that is that correct it's more sport and entertainment so uh, okay, personal, sports and pers entertainment. Yeah, per personal trainer wellness and beauty uh, hairdressers a massage uh, we have also flex work uh, places we right now also have restaurants because you're obliged to have a booking system in the netherlands because of this covid situation so every okay. by everything that has to do with reservation of time yeah. you want to be in there Okay, so do you also do events like live events and stuff booking for those who are organizers, I mean, for organizers? Well, you can do also online events or, or not li live in that sense, but it could be a live, uh, I don't know, discussion. Anything that has to do with a time which you are not e either uh, on a physical location or somewhere online location, that could be done, yeah. We're also currently working on some nice features. I don't want to spoil everything. Okay. <laughs> on, the, on the back end to, 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 uh, to make sure that we help the companies that use Appb as a platform to get new get new clients, get new end clients for them. So that's also what we want to facilitate and we're working on nice features on that. Yeah. Okay, so I want to know what's your role exactly? like what do you do for Appb? My role is I'm actually the, uh, uh, to be honest, I'm the, the, the CEO. I'm one of the okay. founders. Actually, I'm, okay. the, uh, I'm, I'm one of the founders. And uh, uh, I, I decide uh, um, strategically which direction we go. Is it, is it, uh, is it uh, marketing wise and, and also I'm partially product owner. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, and, and there we also have some colleagues, but, but mainly I, I, I make sure that we have new business, business development. So we get leads and how to, to set up the complete uh, uh, customer, our customer uh, uh, journey and uh, doing sales, getting leads, doing sales and getting it to the market, getting, getting it out to the market, yes. Okay, so you have the upper hand on uh, sales and marketing, like what we call you know, internally is founder-based sales and marketing, is that correct? Yes, that's correct, yeah. Okay. So I have one question first. Um, so I see that your website is in Dutch, I think. And so are you interested in uh, like offering services beyond Netherlands? Because I think I feel like uh, your service can be helpful for pretty much every, everyone around the world. And since uh, your software is being um, sold online, so anyone can use that. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. That's the next step. We want to have a, a firm base in the Netherlands first. Okay. And uh, the, the preparations are already there to be, it's now, uh, it's, it's semi SaaS, so to say. So it's not completely okay. automatic for onboarding and starting it. It's okay. semi SaaS, and this is done on purpose to be able to have an interview with every client that connects to see what they want. And this is done uh, on purpose to understand their needs. And from there, okay, we all, so. uh, to do the all new features. But yeah, our goal, our mission our, our, uh, is also to, to uh, to go to the German, uh, English, and Spanish talking markets, yes. Okay, so that means that you might be launching your English website pretty soon. Uh, yeah, 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 it's, yes, yes, definitely. 
Yeah. Okay, so, so when you are scaling, I think you might also uh, require uh, more English speakers in your team or uh, you want to have the team what you have right now. No, we, we want to scale definitely okay, uh, because yeah. it's, 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 it's large. So we want to have a separate team when we, when we scale to English talking markets. Yes. Yeah, it makes sense. So uh, tell me uh, what uh, challenges uh, you are facing, you have been facing in your sales and marketing. Like we also have a small team and there are like a lot of things we face ourselves, like uh, mainly uh, with the scale and how we do our marketing and how we do sales. Like we cannot do that, like the big players do, of course. So we kind of have to do our thing. So what's, what is it with you guys? Our main challenge was, you know, we, we don't have our own marketing department. We don't actually want that. We want to outsource to a huge marketing company uh, okay. that does this for us and make sure we get leads. The most, the biggest challenge we, we had, we have still, was um, honestly a lot of bullshit talking companies, promising yeah. everything but not delivering. Everybody can do everything in the beginning. They say, yeah, we will do this. We pay, we pay the, the, a shitload amount of money. As a, as a startup, and then we have maintenance, uh, absurd amount of maintenance cost, and in the end, we don't have zero reporting. Now, where does this come from? Because we do also our own linking, for, uh, you know, through social, and we our biggest challenge, we had no idea what was happening. We had yep. leads, of course. It was not enough, most definite, but we didn't know w w where does it get stuck? How many people are on our website? Of course, you have these toolings, but you have thousands uh, uh, kind of toolings. Of course, you have analytics, which you need to be half, a, 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 you know, studied, academic, and, and whatever to really understand what's happening there. We wanted to have end all the information. We were actually looking for a 360-degree customer journey. What's happening? Where does that? Yeah. How many often? So this, this was our biggest challenge, yeah. And so, yeah, so like you said, like uh, this companies, uh, there are a lot of companies that promise a lot of things, like specifically if you don't exactly, you have no idea on what specific things you want, like it has happened to us as well. Like if I, for example, if I say that I want leads from SEO and I say that I want an SEO agency, then I go around and I ask around, like I can go hiring on some website like Upwork or something. So, and people will say, okay, I will do this for you. I will do that for you. But what exactly, like when the things uh, we have in perspective, when we have in perspective, like we exactly know what we have to do, then only we can find out. Otherwise it's people promising different things and not delivering. I see, I see this whole marketing and the sales and the, and the leads and the, and the demos as a ra racing track, if you, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. So you go step into the car, you do one round and you look, okay, what happened? How fast was I? What was the plus minus? You change it and you go to the track. Yeah, again. that's right. But if you do so, not know what happened, you, you, you're, and we have a Dutch saying, you're walking like a chicken without a head. That's, yeah, what we are, so, that's what we're saying. <laughs> yeah, we also say that. So, uh, like when we are talking within ourselves about uh, what marketing we want to do in the future, and I, I keep mentioning that we don't want to go with the headless chicken uh, method, like not knowing, just uh, building things and not knowing what to do. And so I think I think you are exactly saying the same thing. So uh, it's not uh, just a language barrier here. We have common things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, so you were saying in the start of the meeting, uh, so tell me more about how sales panel has come in. So why did you first uh, sign up for sales panel? We were looking for a tool. We were looking for something. You know, if you give, if you, um, what's the biggest mistake you can make with the marketing companies? You can say to them, this is what I want. They will say, of course, we will give you statistics. Yeah. But it's not, it's not how to say the statistics they give. They will never ever. It's not ever, the same you need. No, right. no, no. They, they will, it, yeah. it will be a, it will a modified kind of a statistic, you have no idea where it comes from and it's not genuine. Of course, they're not gonna say I did a bad job and we had no yeah. idea where it come from. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. my opinion, we wanted a tool, we wanted something that we can measure what is going on. That's what we were looking for. We want to know if a client bought, what was the first touchdown? 
where did this client come from initially? How many times did he, did he uh, was it only social? Was it through AdWords? Was it through a newsletter? We want to know more. Was it through an email we sent? And, and uh, we were looking for this type of tool, to be honest. So then we can hire a marketing company. So you go ahead and we can hire another company that does our social, or maybe we're going to do our own social. We're going to send out a newsletter or we will send out emails to our a, a specific clients. Did you have a look at that? Because you, at a certain moment, you lose, you cannot track all of these clients where they come from. But in the end, they are on your on CRM and they said, yes, I would like to tr a trial. And they say, yes, I want to buy. And sales panel made it possible for us to really uh, isolate, hey, 90% or 80% of my clients come from this channel. We should concentrate on that. And maybe that was only 20% of our budget. And 80% of our budget we're putting in something that doesn't really deliver. So in the end, it will save time, uh, to my opinion, uh, because you, have an, you know what you're doing and you know where it goes okay, you know where it goes wrong, and you can fine tune it independently you don't independent i know i can get 20 companies right now i know how they're doing and not only the analytics report or the report they made and some don't even make a report they say how many leads you got yeah but it's not always from their uh, uh work that they done i want to know which keyword i want to know which campaign and in the end i want to know if they bought so, okay, so um, yeah yeah, so that makes sense. So, uh, are you currently uh, using segments or anything to like uh, create different reports from different marketing channels or marketing campaigns? No, or what we what we're currently using right now is actually we have the anonymous visits, we have the visiting yeah. companies, and for yeah. us it was less interesting to identify the domain. We thought it before, but then we saw also really interesting companies actually checking our website without even filling out anything. So what we done right now is we add words, we, we, we localize. When we do uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, we can even identify the different campaigns. This information also comes to, uh, to, to sales, uh, uh, sales panel anonymously. And I know what they watch. I know how effective that is. We see uh, if it's comes from, from AdWords. We see if it's directly. We see if it's come from LinkedIn. So all of these, these visits are anonymous. And then at a certain moment when we do a, a newsletter uh, uh, where we, of course, have the consent of these clients where we send it to, we can even embed it there. And it was so easy. And then, you know, if they click, I immediately know who it is. I identify it. And then I have the history. Now, it's it's it look it, it's a bit a little bit of a big brother is watching you, but it's 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 not. We want to know how we're doing, and at the end, if the client is lost or won, we can also uh, uh, also see not only through sales panel, all this information is given through to PipeDrive, which works works uh, fantastic. Okay, so you are using PipeDrive with sales panel, and yeah, yeah, you, yeah. So we have this uh, very real-time integration so every information you have on sales panel like not every information most things you need uh, they are transferred to PyDrive directly so if you are having a sales team they can just uh, have a look and from they do not have to leave their CRM they can just see everything from their end and uh, we are also building a few interesting things since you are mentioning about companies that are visiting your website uh, these are like high level use cases. Uh, this were previously available to like large enterprises and others. But what we are doing is we are doing it, uh, bringing it down so that everyone can use this because everyone needs it. So for example, what you can do in the next uh, couple of months, I guess, um, that you have this specific companies uh, that are interesting to you. Like, let me say that you one companies that are in the uh, food and beverage industry and so what you can do here is you can mark them and you can then retarget them and show these companies like these visitors the qualified visitors ads on like facebook or uh, google or whatever so like really targeted uh, ads so you do not have to spend money on the bad leads so let me say you are getting thousand uh, companies identified on your website, for example, and you identify that around 
200 of them are good leads. So you can only specifically target them. And when they finally sign up, sales panel will uh, join the sessions. So you know exactly this guy signed up from this company. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. these are uh, these are things I think that can be useful for you. And you are already using pipe drive. So we have a two way sync functionality on pipe drive. I think you have checked that out. Have you checked that out? The two-way syncing, yeah. If it's uh, if it's one, uh, we we I don't know if if it's if the information comes back because then we can segment it within uh, sales panel. We, we are we haven't done that yet, uh, but uh, we put, yeah no we haven't done that yet. Okay, so I would recommend you to try it out. So we have recently launched this. So the information comes back from Prive Drive. So uh, within sales panel you can find out which uh, deal owner has been assigned or where exactly are, is a lead on the pipeline or um, you can also use this like you were saying you can use this information to segment so if you wanted to segment out leads who are in the purchase like close to purchase then you can do that within sales panel so every information uh, goes back to uh, sales panel from pipe drive so i would definitely recommend you to try it out is, do you have any movies or, or explanation on that? Yeah, sure. I will uh, send it to you after this uh, call. Yeah. Okay. And so um, uh, to ask one more question. So what is your favorite feature on sales panel? Like apart from, I know it helps you track things. So what have you explored and what is your favorite? Well, my favorite part is, is, um, it gives you it it, it uh, yeah I don't know it's it's not one specific feature, uh, but it's the it's the uh, the ease of use to know what's happening at a certain uh, period of time. How good are you doing? How many leads are coming? What they're watching yeah. uh, comfortably uh, and not going clicking like twenty five uh, times to get some kind of an information and uh, and and to be able to identify in the end this person what he what he what he does. Uh, as as we speak, I'm also checking out, uh, uh, you know, what in the, in the anonymous leads, what they're watching, and okay. websites, and and what I think what would be great actually, I don't know, I don't know if it's feasible for you guys, is I have this part for leads, visiting companies and anonymous visitors. So that's the part of the leads I would really like to see because we are a SaaS solution to also embed this information on our portal so we know our users, what are our users doing in, in the back end, which websites, how often do they come back. And we, we also have a segment of users, trial and uh, uh, paying, uh, paying customers. So that would also be nice, of course, in the, in the, in the, in the future it might come. Okay. So um, I think uh, this might be possible uh, with our API or a webhook. So I will uh, hook you up with uh, Paras regarding this and he will uh, talk to you further about this uh, if you have not talked about this already. Okay. 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 And um, so have you checked out reports like I think I it's checked, important? Yes. Yes. The reports I, uh, uh, I checked, but uh, when I checked, it was not uh, quite uh, finished yet because it's beta I see still uh, and uh, yeah th this is this is what, what we see I mean if you look at the last 30 days uh, yep. my I said my quota is finished <laughs> I have from the Instagram campaign 797 visits uh, okay. direct is 756 and through Google address 323 so the amount of money we spent on on Instagram is, is giving us uh, uh, double more visits than AdWords. Okay, now, so, what, yeah. okay, please continue. And what, what's interesting now is to see how many percent of those are be, is going to become clients. Okay, so um, what I was saying about reports is that you can create different segments about uh, like different marketing channels. So your Instagram channel, for example, and then you can create reports for each segment and for each segment you can view reports. So 
everything you want to know, like which countries they are coming from, uh, what exactly which pages they are visiting, how much time they're spending on pages, and how many conversions you are getting from that particular channel and everything. So, and if you are running on Google Ads, so you can check the same reports on keywords, which keywords are performing, which are not, uh, which pages they are visiting, which countries they're from, and other information. So you can get everything from reports. So I will also share with you information on uh, reports, like how you can get started and what's there. And yes, we have updated the report. So uh, previously we launched a quick beta. So, and now we are improving that and uh, we are bringing more updates. And I think you will find an update on your account. And I think that will be useful for you. Okay. Yeah, super. Okay, so I think uh, that are all my questions. So if you have any questions or you want to mention anything specific, like you were saying that um, your lead quota is ending, so we can definitely uh, work on that. Like like I was saying in the beginning, like it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing because good more leads is <laughs> yeah, it's better for your business. And we are like uh, we have a really attractive plan, and we are also trying to work with our customers. And uh, so I have to ask you, how are you finding our support right now? Oh yeah, fantastic! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get I get uh, uh, immediate response always. So I'm 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 happy with that. But I also accept that you know if you ask a question, it's not within a one minute. You need to have an answer. Yeah. We also <laughs> SaaS company, so we understand a little bit about about, about that. But uh, no, no, it's 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 uh, it's uh, it's it's good. It's good. It's yeah, an, sure. and it's, a, it's an honest model, because a sales panel is not the only tool we we had a look at. Uh, it was the fir the the first tool that was easily set up. We were in no time. We were up and running, and with uh, with with competitive prices. Uh, so yeah, an honest honest pricing model. Uh, thank you for that. Um, actually, yes, we do not uh, do the whole uh, scripted answers thing. We kind of get annoyed with it ourselves. So if it's something that's taking time for us to reply, that means we are finding out a solution for the client and then replying. So what exactly needs to be done and uh, if we can do something from our end, like uh, a lot of our customers have made uh, different uh, requests uh, that we have honored. So basically, sales panel has become what it is today based on uh, customer requests and feedback we have received. So when we launched first, uh, we had uh, this thought, like when we are launching first, we interviewed a few pipeline users and then we came out with this, that initial uh, lead tracking, then we came out with segments and other things. and. Uh, we are constantly improving the product and I think you will also like what you see in the future as we are continuously working on new things. Okay. Okay, uh, that was uh, great talking to you and uh, thank you for joining me. Okay, okay. thank you. Day. Thank you very much. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.